Hi guys. Um, I was putting together the signatures for my boho journal that you may have seen in a in the previous video that I'm making, and I was going to make the front page a little bit more colourful than my usual drib drab, and I thought I'd quickly stop to show you um, this page, and what this is. This is watercolour on heavily coffee dyed paper and the reason I wanted to show you was it's my last page. I've used all the rest and I thought I'll quickly just show you before um, I use the last of the paper and then I'd have to make some more which I probably won't for a while. But all I really did was took some very heavily coffee dyed paper and if you've seen any of my journals, this is the kind of paper that I love. I love um, when it's really dark and grungy like this. This is my favourite, favourite type of coffee dyed paper. So I've just taken some of that and I've just put watercolour on it pretty much. Um, in this one I've used pink, purple and um, dark blue. I don't know the exact colours, but <laughs> um, I don't know what the proper colour names are, but it was pretty much just a, um, a dark pink, a purple, and a dark blue. And just put it over the coffee dyed paper. The, um, the coffee doesn't run, it just stays where it was originally. And I think it turns out really, really gorgeous. Um, it's not... These blues and they aren't as bright as they appear on camera. But it's pretty close. But um, anyway, I thought I'd show you that before I go ahead and use the last of my little watercolored coffee dyed papers. That's it. Um, oh, this is this is one of the alternatives that I use to um, you know, I don't buy scrapbook paper because I don't buy craft supplies. So um, unless I find scrapbook paper at a charity op shop or recycle center, I don't buy craft supplies other than glues and paints and stuff. So um, this is one of the alternatives that I use to scrapbook paper. So I, I use a whole combination of things, um, you know, water, watercolored coffee dyed papers, um, thick gift wrapping papers, um, painty papers, uh, you name it. But as I come across them, I thought I'll, I'll just show you because... I know, especially in Australia, paper packs, I think they're like $20 or something a pad. Now, I don't buy them not because of the cost. I don't buy them because I'm somewhat anti-mass produced. Um, and I think there's enough beautiful stuff out there in the world that we don't need to keep buying new stuff, creating more de demand to make more stuff. But, um, you know, something like this... You know, this was an, a picture out of an old picture frame, but it looks, it's not textured, it's quite smooth, but it looks like it's textured just because of the way it's printed. And um, I've used this whole picture. There was an old picture frame that I saved in a curbside cleanup and it had a gorgeous picture in it. And I've used it all so far. This was the last little remnant left. But, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of ways you can get around buying you know pretty papers and craft supplies and that and so I thought I'd just share this with you um, this one's probably a little out there because it is quite colorful I suppose but I'm making a boho journal which I wanted to try and make a little more colorful so I thought it was appropriate um, I also put them in things like fairy journals and I don't know, unicorn journals, things that are a bit more colourful. But I just thought I'd show you that before I use the last of the paper. Um, and maybe next batch when I make some, I'll uh, show you how I make it. But it, it's really simple. Just get some watercolours um, and just put it down on paper. Um, on coffee dyed paper. That's it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.